Hello, welcome to this presentation of Cover Omnibus, an integration platform that offers powerful capabilities for TFS users to migrate from and or remain in sync with HP Quality Center. The bus architecture of Omnibus allows TFS to remain synchronized with HP QC in the integrated ALM ecosystem. Different artifacts from HP QC can now be migrated in batch to TFS as well as synchronized back to HP QC for centralized process control and reporting. Today's demonstration is divided into two parts. In the first, we will present the migration capabilities from HPQC to TFS and then followed by the synchronization from TFS to QC in the second. So let us start the first part. Covid Omnibus enables organizations to migrate seamlessly from HPQC to Microsoft TFS. It allows the user to define the criteria through which QC items can be migrated to TFS. The migration takes care of all the details of the items along with their relationships, attachments and comments. It also supports the advanced features like transformation of call to test from QC to shared steps in TFS. In this part of the demo, we will demonstrate the following points. The migration of various artifacts from QC like requirements, test case, test steps, defects, etc. Migration of the relationships between requirement tests and defects. The migration of attachments at test case and test step level. The migration of call to test to shared steps in TFS and links between them. And finally, migration of change history of requirement test case and defects. Now, let us get into HPQC and show you structure in which the different artifacts are organized and are considered for migration to TFS. So to do that, let me log in to uh, QC. As Cove and this is the particular project that we are using for a today's demonstration purpose. So as we log in, let's go into requirements and from the requirements list this is the particular requirement we will be considering for uh, demonstration purpose. That's need always different types of policies. Now let's go into the test plan and these are the three test plans that uh, will be considered under um, for this particular migration process. The recurring policy, the recurring policy, the schedule policy and the event driven. So now let me go into the schedule policy and once we go into the design steps you can find there are three steps associated to this particular test case. Uh, one we already uh, associated to an attachment and the first three are uh, manual test steps, one with a parameter and the, f the last one is uh, the call to step, the call to tests. Now the concept of call to test in QC is that it is itself a test case which is being treated as a test step inside another test case so that at the execution time the reusability is being used and the test steps included inside this particular test case gets unfolded and the steps are being loaded in the execution mode. So with this there is another test scenario which is uh, down here and under that login test is uh, that's the automated test that's being also considered for this migration. This login test is also being used for in the migration purpose and 
and over here you can see the type of this particular test as the quick test underscore test now let's get into the test lab and here you can see the test lab for policies and inside the execution grid these are the three test cases uh, the two manual ones and the test the automated test is being included now this requirement with the three test cases the test lab and the defect associated to it would all be considered for uh, the migration purpose so to do that so let me log into the cover application and show uh, how to create a new migration scenario in cover so to do that let me log in as mentioned as you can see the web service URL that's the URL to the Raptor and the TFS so what we do over here is we go into QC and select the synchronize so this is the page where uh, the administrator need to configure the system and to do that what we uh, first do is the synchronization name and we give it as QC underscore TFS underscore data score migration and the instance one is already selected as QC and the instance one project is also selected as Covair demo the instance two we select as TFS as that's the destination tool where we would like to transfer the data to and once it is being done since we wish to transfer the data from test lab in QC and you can see that the different entities are all being pulled up uh, that are uh, being defined in quality center you can select any entity and can be used for the migration purpose now for today's presentation we'll be using test lab and we would map it to the test plan or work item in TFS and for this particular presentation we are using Cove demo as the TFS project the entity mapping is already being set uh, which is the test plan mapping and the entity mapping is being used for mapping the attributes and the entity between which the data is getting transferred during the migration purpose so once we have selected this the next block is for selecting the field and the conditions for that so the reason being we would not like to transfer all data but a specific set of data so for that we are specifying some condition so here we are saying test set ID greater than equal to 13 that means over here over here we are wishing to transfer only those uh, test sets whose ID are greater than 30 we go into the instance 2 criteria and over here we specify a similar condition like plan ID greater than equal to 9999 so we scroll down and we select the option as add non matched items of instance 1 to instance 2 so that if any records already exist in TFS that will not be considered in migration so with all the options being set we select save and synchronize so once we hit this the parsing starts and the entire data structure including the requirements the test cases the test lab the test steps including the manual steps the call to steps the defects all are being taken into omnibus being processed and are getting into TFS as individual items under the respective work items an administrator of the system and the configuration setup is being done from workspace setup in cover so we get into omnibus and under the registration page you can see the adapters for both these tools are being set up over here so the adapter for QC is uh, so now let's get into TFS to find the details over here we are using Cove demo as the project in TFS and uh, this is the Cover uh, query that we are using for uh, checking out the different work items that have been involved and inserted due to the migration from quality center to TFS 
so as you can see over here the various artifacts that we uh, discuss from quality center are appearing uh, as different work items in TFS and each of these have inserted into the respective uh, uh, work items as items uh, in, in uh, team, team foundation server so first we start with the requirement and uh, let me show you that uh, this particular requirement is uh, having all its details and under the area uh, the area path you can see under the TFS uh, project name it is showing the particular folder under which this requirement exists as uh, an item in quality center so let me take you back and uh, let me take you into requirements list and you can see the this is the folder under which the requirement resided and that's where it's showing the classification part now let me take you into all links and over here you can find the traceability relationship along with the artifacts have also been transferred uh, and migrated to TFS so at the top you can see the the bug uh, has been uh, linked to the requirement and uh, over here the two test cases the schedule policy and the recurring policy are also appearing as the linked uh, work items to this particular requirement now let me go into the test and over here you will find that under the test lab uh, the one which we migrated the test lab for policies uh, three test cases are getting shown those through test cases which are uh, uh, linked in quality center so the traceability relationship with the test lab uh, to the test case have also been uh, transferred into TFS now let me get into the details of this particular test case the schedule policy one and underneath I would like to show uh, the design steps has arrived so you can see the automatically scheduled policy and if you remember this particular step had an attachment add to it and that's getting shown over here so the manual steps and the attachment to it has also transferred as a uh, result of this migration now these are the two steps these are the manual steps that has been uh, uh, inserted from TFS from quality center to TFS and this is a parameterized uh, step where you can see the the parameter in quality center is the parameter in quality center is specified in angular brackets and uh, TFS he understands the parameter by means of uh, by specifying an add the rate in front of it so there requires a transformation and this is a special case that omnibus has taken care of that whenever it encountered that particular angular bracket before a parameter in quality center at the time of migrating it into TFS prior to that it has converted that angular bracket into at the rate so that TFS understands that that is a parameter and additionally uh, the parameter value can also be seen from here so it's not uh, just the data but also a level of transformation has been uh, involved into this now this is the call to test and this is now a new uh, work item under the shared step uh, entity so let me go into the details of that uh, event driven policy which is the call to test and here you can see the step inside the call to step which is the modifying existing policy can also be seen from here now I have showed you the requirements the relationships to the test and uh, the test cases with its relationship to the test steps and uh, the attachment associated to a test step and also the parameterized steps and uh, finally uh, the the call to step which is a shared step in uh, TFS now finally I will go into to show you the change history is also and we select this particular bug now we go into the history of this bug 
and you can see the details of the change history is getting uh, reflected from here uh, also if I go into all links I would be able to see that particular requirement also linked to this uh, bug over here so with that uh, we conclude the migration part where we have uh, uh, shown that all the different artifacts that has been organized in quality center with proper hierarchy with all kinds of traceability relationships with attachments with the parameterized URLs uh, in, as steps as as a test case being uh, included as a test step inside a test case so everything has been uh, inserted as different uh, work items in TFS so with that uh, we conclude the first part and uh, now let's get into the second part where we would like to show you the synchronization from TFS to Quality Center. So Covert Omnibus allows users to synchronize multiple instances of HP Quality Center with TFS. All artifacts from TFS can be synchronized with the corresponding artifacts in uh, Quality Center bidirectional data transfer along with comments and attachments can be seamlessly done uh, strong reliability mechanisms ensure no change is lost in transit between the two systems so now saying that uh, we would like to do this in action and what we will do is we will get into the test case uh, which is the 65 and we will add a new step a parameterized step and over there we would specify a value and we would specify a value over there and uh, we would uh, show that this step gets added as a new step in the corresponding test case in Cover. so that's what we are doing now so step from TFS added by uh, three colons uh, and at the rate uh, user user so we save this particular step and we uh, specify the value so over here we specify the username as John so John and we save this particular test case now we will uh, go into quality center to see whether uh, the new step has been added under the corresponding test case so to do that uh, let me go into quality center and let's go into the test plan and under the schedule policy the test case here you can see the step has arrived so step from TFS added by that's the design step that has been added under there under the steps a new step has been added and under the parameters here you can see the parameter the user has been added and as well the value is also getting displayed over here so with that uh, we demonstrated the synchronization uh, aspect uh, between uh, TFS and quality center so uh, with that we conclude our today's demonstration related to the migration and the synchronization capabilities of Covair Omnibus between Quality Center and TFS.